Congratulations. You found the one station that plays Ghana's best urban music. YFM. Listen to YFM 107.9 Accra, 102.5 Kumasi, and 97.9 in Takarati. Officially, we kickstart Wiley Demort Series Season 3 gloriously. Good morning going out to all our listeners, especially you now. Thank you so much for making time for us this morning. The song in the back is from Dunsin Onyeka, and it's called Fragrance to Fire. It was recorded in the Covenant Studios in Lagos. Beautiful piece of music right there. And so straight to business. Today on Wiley the Board series, we host a woman who wears many hats as an author, a motivational speaker, a conference facilitator, media personality, and consultant. She is the chief executive officer of Legacy and Legacy, a management consultancy company, executive director of Springboard Roadshow Foundation, and co-founder of Combat Impressions Limited as a fellow of the Africa Leadership Initiative and the prestigious Aspen Global Leaders Network based in Colorado, USA. Our next guest has dedicated her life to inspiring and coaching people on their life and career choices. Without further ado, we are super delighted. I'm very excited, by the way, to have Comfort Okran on Wiley the Board series today. Comfort, welcome to YFM. Thank you very much. It's a privilege to be here today. Um, <laughs> the pleasure's ours. <laughs> <laughs> Real privilege. <laughs> I remember, I think the last time I heard your voice on YFM, well, apart from the ones that we play, the last time we were in the studio, I listened. I think it was on Brownberry's show, and it was beautiful. Thank you. I enjoyed every single moment. I mean, I, I tell my friends, every single thing Comfort says makes sense. Like, every little thing. Praise the Lord. I mean, I think that's just the right way to say it. <laughs> it makes sense. I feel, before we even go into anything, do you always plan what you say? Actually, you do not. I, 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 technically, I don't like doing that. Mm. I actually prefer, I, I, I do, spont I like spontaneity. Mm. And um, sometimes I know when I, I mean, they actually do a script for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I've, I've written the script, I have done it. And then I go there and I look at the, the situation and I change the script. And mm. the people in the office are tearing their hair out. And I'm like, yeah, I know, you're yeah, getting frustrated. Especially Albert. Mm. And because he, he likes to, you know, take his time and go through his scripts mm -hmm. too. And then of go through the script, I mean, word by mm -hmm. word. And he has written the script for me, and I'm supposed to read the script. And I look oh, at the script, and I was like, uh, no, that's not me. And I put my interpretation <laughs> to, <laughs> to it. And so, mm, no. I think it's more of grace, mm. more of the Holy Spirit mm. speaking than me, myself. Mm. Seriously. And so there's been times you go out there and address people and you come back home and you listen to the things you said and you ask yourself where did this come from well as for that one i, I is grace mm. i will plan how to what the thing <laughs> should be like but the interpretation mm. of the actual delivery always mm. is grace mm. Welcome to IFM once again. Now, uh, Manasseh Azuri Awuni captioned one of his, uh, you know, many articles. Uh, I mean, one of them, uh, if you can't find a comfort grant, make one. I remember when <laughs> Albert was in here, we talked about that. Share with us, okay, so we find the right comfort grant, especially young ones planning who to live the rest of their lives with. Who well, is Comfort Okran? <laughs> Since we're trying to, we're supposed to get a Comfort Okran in our lives, who is she? Rev, um, I, I believe that the only thing I can say is I'm a Christian, mm. African mm. believer. Okay. Christian because I believe my beginning, my end, my 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 moment by moment. Not mm. not my my day is too long. Mm -hmm. My my second by second. Every moment. Every moment is 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 garnered. Is 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 protected. It's um is um sh is moved by God. Mm. So I'm a Christian mm. and I I don't. That's that's me. 
an African because I can't see myself prospering outside the African country, a continent. Mm -hmm. I can't see myself moving outside Ghana to go and live anywhere else. Okay. In fact, um, I remember um, when I, I, after, after my after my sec, during my second during my second degree, mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to go and um, do part of the masters in in um, US, and people were like, "Oh, but you will not come back," and I was like. <laughs> Um, if my dreams, my life doesn't exist outside Beyond, Ghana, mm. no outside Africa. Africa. It's here I will live, it's here I will breathe, it's here I will die. Mm. If I but die anywhere else, I beg you, please bring me back home. <laughs> Come and bury me. But this is this is this is this is where this is where I was born. Mm. This is where God planted me. Mm. This is where I'll make the most impact. Mm. And this is where I hope mm. to make the most impact in my life. Makes perfect sense. Let's dive a little bit, a bit into your past. Where was Comfort born? Where did you grow up? How was growing up growing up like for you in general? Well. <laughs> Um, um, I was privileged okay. to be uh, birthed by um, Mr. Christian C.C. Wintu. I, I mean, okay. we call him C.C. It was Christian Cornelius Wintu. Mm -hmm. And my phenomenal, phenomenal mother, um, Flora Wintu. Um, C.C. Was, was, was a germ. He was a, he was a beautiful man. Mm -hmm. um, he, was, he was soft. Mm -hmm. You know, at least for me. Okay. I mean, I know he was more. You know, he he gave it to the the, the, the older ones, but for me, he, he was, was out of the... he was very very soft. Were you the baby last? I was baby last, but baby one. last, but one. Okay. The effect. I mean, it's, I'm a, you but were then I was a girl, so of course I was okay. the last girl. Okay. So yes, yeah, so he was very soft to me. I mean, for some, I mean, for somebody in those a, in those days who I could plait his hair mm. and he would sit down quietly and I'll plait his hair for him. I oh. mean, yeah, I mean, so I had, I had such a wonderful relationship with my father right. and um, I, I, I miss him, still miss him every day. He passed about 30 years ago. May he so rest in perfect peace. Yes, I still miss him to today. So that was, that, that was my, 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 mother, my father. My mother was um, this phenomenal lady who would just decide that this is what I want to do mm. and that is what he's going to do. Mm. I mean, we, we call her, um, she will kill me, um, we call her <laughs> Jenako, um, that is in, 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 in Gang, Jenako, meaning it's not yet late. Mm. Mommy would go out and come back around 2 o'clock, mm. 1 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, she would go to the kitchen mm -hmm. and decide that this is the time to make some food mm. and then she would cook at, at 10, 10 p.m. when normal people oh. are sleeping <laughs> and you will think that mommy did, um, we call her teacher you think teacher would have stopped by now she's now 84 mm -hmm. she lives with me and sometimes at one o'clock you'd hear something going on in the, in kitchen. the kitchen and, and you go and Jenako is at work it's never too late it's never too late. So it's never, <laughs> never, ever too late. And so, um, 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 teacher, teacher is, is a phenomenal lady. Mm. She, she was a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, she, she, um, a, a teacher. She went. She worked work in primary school. A Ga teacher. Okay. Um, and so, when you are speaking Ga, you must be careful because mommy is like. Don't miss no, the no, words. No, no. I call it. I call Lufu. Say it. Pronounce. Like say it right. <laughs> she say it right. You know. She wants it perfect. She wants it perfect. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 mommy and, wow. and, and, and and perfect in everything. Mm -hmm. So that's my background. Mm. Um, um, so then went to um, did royal preparatory okay. initially, and then in, when I was in fourth class four, mm -hmm. they moved me to association. Okay. And then from there to Achimota for from one to five mm -hmm. this is from with um, Laboni secondary and then um, um, went to uni um, at Lagon um, after, six, after four five I had a brilliant idea mm -hmm. that I wanted to be a hairdresser because I wanted to make money immediately so I didn't go to this form and I'm yeah, yeah. Did that come about as a result of you developing interest for that through plating daddy's hair? Or you just I had it? No. 
Oh, but I wanted to create wells. Mm -hmm. um, Daddy had a printing press in the house. Mm -hmm. I used to print in the house. Mm -hmm. I mean, help mm -hmm. in the printing press mm -hmm. from, you know, mm -hmm. like typesetting. So I know how to typeset. Mm -hmm. And typesetting in those days was a very laborious process. You take a, a letter at a time mm -hmm. and then you, you put it together mm -hmm. and then you lock it and put it in the printing machine. The printing machine were huge machines. And I said I wanted to be a printer. My daddy said, oh, ladies don't become printers. So, oh. so if, if, Printing was out of the business, then and I might as well become a hairdresser. Yeah. So I started hairdressing, and then about eight months into hairdressing, my mom came to me one day and said, "He said, you know what?" And that is why I always credit her <laughs> with what who I be, have become today. Uh, today, yes. she said, "You know what? Um, making money is possible. Mm -hmm. It's really, really possible, but..." I believe that your your grades were good. You got first. I mean, what grade one at that mm -hmm, time? Mm -hmm. So I mean, no secondary school will say no to you. So I would encourage you. You just go to school, and then when you finish, I you continue, myself yeah. I'll build the the saloon for you. Then you can you, you you can have your saloon. And I said, okay, fair enough. Sounds like a plan. I mean, it's just two years of my life. Mm -hmm. I can easily come back to. Mm -hmm. um, to the hairdressers. So I did go to, um, um, but I think she saved me. If you look at my hair presently, I don't know if I'd have been a good hairdresser. <laughs> you know, because. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love the honesty. <laughs> She saved me. She said, yeah. I, I don't think I could have been a good hairdresser. No, it may be with time you would have be become yeah. better, but then that means you would have deprived yourself of all the other things you could have been. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm, I'm very. She saved me for myself. So I, this is wrong. And that's was, the kind of childhood you had. I mean, <laughs> and clearly you, you, you grew up in a home that gave you the liberty to choose your life path wherever you wanted to go. You mm. could go. It was beautiful. Mm. I mean. Um, going out to visit friends uh, in that time there was no Nintendo there was no TV, no 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 it was a black and white TV yes that TV came football. on between I think five and nine o'clock or mm -hmm. something like mm -hmm. that so just for us you had to occupy yourself doing so it, it was going to friends or reading books yes I was told you really loved reading <laughs> books I mean how did you first start this habit what, what genres were you particularly interested in what kind of story books did you read back then uh, I read all, all, kinds all of sorts of books. Mm. I started with the enlightenment of this life, mm. and um, whether I mean that was mainly in association. And so um, I, I was I was so crazy about books mm -hmm. that you could. I, I remember once I walked home from association in um, in, in airport mm -hmm. to we're living in Nyanibaya State, so Laboni, wow. Laboni. I walked home from association to the house, um, following a friend because a friend had the book. Mm. And the friend said, well, today they were, they were having a, a walk home. And so I was reading as we were going on the way. So when we got to the friend's house, I think I was almost at the end. Mm -hmm. And the friend said, okay, so tomorrow when you come to school, you can take it and continue. So that, that was how good I was. And mm. that was how crazy I was. I mean, it came well, to I a time it. that I could finish maybe a 300 book in maximum two days. If I take two days, and I think Is I've it? been late. I've been too slow. So I, I out, out. It was it was that bad. Of course, then it means that um, um, I wouldn't have time for <laughs> other things. But hey, it sounds very interesting. The world was a beautiful place yes. in the books. In the books, yes. The you just kept traveling. Of, yes, I kept here. traveling and finding people's spaces and mm -hmm. enjoying those spaces and 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 and. Um, solving mysteries and finding out that all oh, this person so I think that's why when right now my this in my TV is, is, is crime drama and mm -hmm. when I watch those crime dramas I solve it before the, 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 the people mm -hmm. get solved and I said oh it's so obvious I wonder you why you spoil it all the time I, I'm, I'm spoiling it and, <laughs> and Albert is like what is going on and I go oh this is what is gonna happen and yeah <laughs> do, do you think children of our time I mean this generation are deprived of all the great things you experienced back then or you think we have our own version of it I think you do have I mean they do have their version mm. because I mean to be able to co-create mm -hmm. 
in terms of you having control mm -hmm. of how the car goes mm -hmm. down the road or how um, um, a particular um, um, drama or dragon mm -hmm. is, 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 is it's, it's, it's that but I also think that the opportunity to to bond with others mm -hmm. is uh, missing and therefore there's the I mean the, the, the need to do a bit of both mm -hmm. where you are creating you are looking at you're you doing the, the, the and not just not just consuming because we used to do we do a lot of consumption, a lot of consumption yes but the, the creation where we are coding and then we are we are playing our own games mm -hmm. because if you do Tokoklo, which is um, play, I mean, cooking with um, sand. Mm -hmm. If you do cooking with sand, oh. you are. Is that what it's called? Yes, to Tokoklo. It's called. In, <laughs> it, where I'm from is called Inkrubo. Oh, okay. Yes. I remember one Tokoklo that we did, I mean, under the uh, tree uh -huh. in the house, a uh, uh, palm, palm tree. And uh, we took the matches from mommy's office, from, from um, the, the, the kitchen, and we used all of it. And it was time for her to cook at night. And she didn't have her matches. <laughs> And I can so, imagine. <laughs> and she was a dreamer, she was a teacher. Yes. And she delivered canes with such mm. accuracy mm. that you it was a fearful thing to fall into the canes of mommy than mm. daddy. Daddy was canes, no, no. Daddy problem. was cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, daddy was cool. But, but mommy, mommy was mommy it was mommy's job. Precision. Mm, precision. Because he had developed the fine mm, art. Mm, mm. And she gave me only one. Was one <laughs> But I still remember that particular <laughs> cane till today. Oh, uh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. I mean, all these experiences, man. Anyways, academically, what were your strengths? I mean, you've told us right now that you loved <laughs> reading. Um, at some point, mommy had to get you to go back to school because you were academically inclined. But what were your strengths? Were you the science person, the, the, the social arts? Uh, which of them? Seriously, I could have been science, mm. but I couldn't be bothered. Mm. It took too much effort. That's okay. the truth. So I went for the. Um, so I, honestly, truth be told, at that time, I was at that time before 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 such form. I was not deliberating my choices. Mm -hmm. I went with the easiest route. So for instance, when we got to um, from, to choosing our all level subjects, mm -hmm. we were told that um, the seven seven was a minimum amount of subjects that you, you could take. Okay. So I took seven. Hmm. Did because you could, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that's the, that's, yeah, the that's the minimum. That's the minimum. I'll do well, but I, why should I? Why should I strive? Yeah, let so, me just do what's expected of me. Exactly. And, nothing and extra. Nothing extra. Okay. I'll do. I'll, I'll do it. Mm. And and that's 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 um, that's what 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 um, it was. But so my, my my teachers told me that I can do. I, I have the opportunity to do science and arts. But science was more exacting, so mm. I just I did arts and did English, which was a beautiful subject that I enjoyed. Mm. So I did English and. And um, and uh, for this form, I did um, a bit of um, accounting. Okay. Um, my friends and, and and government and something else. So and then I was given linguistics, yes. which I had never ever heard of. Before you got it, you had never heard of it. Ah. I had never heard of linguistics. But you loved it. At some point, I got to. I, got couldn't, to I couldn't see why there was not a more beautiful subject than linguistics because linguistics has the opportunity to be. It's, it's multi-sectorial. Yes. So then, yes, you are doing. Um, the, the, you are learning about the structure of languages, mm. but you can learn about psycholinguistics. You can learn about computer, mm. computer, mm -hmm. about computational linguistics. Yes. You, can, you can learn about different. So you have the opportunity plethora. Yeah. You have the opportunity to to go into different fields depending on what you study. Variety. For, yeah. So, so I, I enjoyed it, and I have come to realize that I am a generalist. Mm -hmm. So then, I like to know about what is going on in this field, what is going on in that field, what is going on in that field, and then synthesize all that information that I have learned mm. to, you know, to 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 chart a path. Mm. And that is that is that is that is what I Okay. Beautiful. So that's grown up for you about comfort Okran. And so I remember when we interviewed uh, Albert, he he spoke so well of you. Um, let's let's talk a little bit about your family life. I mean, the family that you raised, you and Rev, uh, work closely together. Did you bond over shared interests? I mean, how did they come about? When did you guys meet? I want to see if it's the same story he told us. <laughs> yes, he shared a very beautiful story with us. 
uh, let's go back on it. Uh, let's see if, because he told us there are some things that you did, and then, you know, he also did his. I want to find out from you. I mean, how did it go? How did it even start in the first place? In the first place, we met in the friend's house, Kofi Folson. Okay. Um, the Folsons, Kojo, mm -hmm. Kofi, mm -hmm. um, and so on and so forth. And um, we met the first, first week of uni, um, met this young gentleman, and I always say the first thing that struck me was how dark his palm was. How so? How so? Because I had never <laughs> seen such a dark palm before. Wow. So when he stretched out his hand, and you know, that's one of those things that you, you, your mind kind of, when he stretched out, I was like, the first thing that, wow, well, this palm is really dark. But I shook the hand and I said, nice to meet you. And, and that was it. Huh. And later on, we got the opportunity to, um, we're then in um, uni, um, Calvary Road had mm -hmm. um, the Calvary Road singers. And so I joined them. And so we had a lot of fun going around um, singing and so on and so forth. Then um, Alba started Kobe and Kobe, mm -hmm. which was, um, they, we, they, used, they used to do artworks. And so I said, well, um, this, is, this sounds very good. Mm -hmm. um, let me help you um, uh, market it. So I was, I was selling it in my, my room. Okay. Um, and, and, and then when they had, we had exhibitions, then I would be the marketing person at the exhibition center and show people how, what, what, what was available and so on and so forth. And Albert was a very passionate young person somebody who knew that his background was um, very limited, mm -hmm. had very limited resources, mm -hmm. was not expecting anyone to give those resources to him. He was ready and to find it himself. He was ready mm -hmm. to find what he can do mm -hmm. in his space. Mm -hmm. Because remember, in those days, nobody ever did any commercial venture in mm -mm. anyone. Mm -mm. It was unheard of, but he was willing to chart a path. And ready to that, be a pioneer. That, yeah, ready to be a pioneer. And mm. that, that, that caught my attention as a friend. Okay. You know, and so I was supporting a friend's mm. vision, mm. And supporting a friend's um, opportunity, mm. and, and making as much noise as I could mm. on in, in Saba Hall beautiful place and, um, and and so on and so forth so um, I remember and, and and once I was in um, I, I, I say I discovered my sporting legs in, in Ashimoto school okay because um, we, 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 we I, I was I did hockey I played hockey in, in Ashimoto school mm -hmm. I did a bit of running though I was never first <laughs> <laughs> But I still always, I always volunteer to be on the on the field. You You're know. part of the squad. I will just show up. Yes, I mean, yes, just, I'll, just I'll show up. There. I'll show up. Yes, I don't I'm not here to win. I'm just here to be a part of it. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, and it's very important. Sometimes we tend to think that win is the only mm -hmm. thing, but the opportunity to even put yourself out there, participation to alone. Dare. Yes. To dare to, to to do something is something that you must you mustn't you must sell, sell yourself short mm -hmm. of. So yes, so um, I was then in 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 in, in, in what, so when I got to uni, uni, I was still in the hockey um, um, team. Team. Okay. I was I think did I even captain it at one time? I've forgotten. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Captain. They used, to, they used to say that if I, I come says that if you miss the ball, don't miss the legs. <laughs> <laughs> if you miss the ball, don't miss the legs, guys. No, 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 don't If you understand legs. hockey, you know what she means. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so one um, in, the fi in our final year mm -hmm. of, un of, of, of uni, we got the opportunity to go to Burkina Faso. That was okay. my te technically my first trip out of Ghana. Out of Ghana, okay. We got the opportunity to go to Burkina Faso and went by road, and I realized that. Of all my friends in Legon, he was the only person I was really thinking about, you know, that, oh, I mean, when I, when something happens, I say, oh, I have to tell Albert about mm -hmm. this. Uh, I'll have to, and I'm like, ah, I have Why? other friends. Yeah. Why him? You know, so kind of, uh, okay, maybe, no, not really. 
and then uh, we go, we got back uh, and and um, along the line. So now I started kind of looking at him with another eye, another eye. not 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 just a friendship mm -hmm. one, but now like the, another. You realized eye to say, you can is go he further. Someone mm. that I could even consider mm. to be in my life, mm. and the little bit I I now paid attention mm. to I kind of liked mm. and um, so um, one day I was home and I said okay Lord you know if today of all days Albert comes to this house I know he is the one mm. and he did he did the story is no different I'm, I'm, I'm glad <laughs> but I mean I'm glad I asked this, this question this because is from my angle yes <laughs> you see Albert skipped a lot of these details. He did, you see. He just summarized it. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. And when I hurried that day, our mood was all about just going. And so we didn't really break it down. But I'm glad, you know, you broke it down for us. It's it, So the business bit of what you guys are today started way before. It did. Mm. It did. And that is where volunteering comes to play. Mm. Because I just saw some some opportunity. Mm. I mean, in terms of the fact that somebody was doing something, so let me help, help the person, support, support the mm. person, accomplish mm. what he is doing. Mm. And um, through that, he also realized that this is someone that I could actually potentially build a life with. with. Um, so, but but I mean, that's one of the things that I wish our present day people would 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 do, would, would do. Mm. because they are more transactional or oriented so when i do this for you what do i get out of it they want the end and when they when when you say okay i'll give you x they will do exactly x the fact that we can go beyond just x um because you you, you asked me to to give you an artwork mm -hmm. and so the minute they finish the artwork they don't ask that oh is it possible that I could paint this wall to make the artwork stand out for you? That would never enter because we limit ourselves. We limit ourselves and limit the opportunities mm. that you could have gotten otherwise. Mm. So that's one thing that I would, I mean, I, I, if, if, if I had the opportunity, I would ask people that think about volunteering, think about showing up for people, think about finding out what, what is someone doing and how can you help the person realize his or her dream and not ask yourself, what am I getting in return. out of it? Even with that, I mean, if you do define what you want to get from it, you sort of like, apart from the opportunity to do more, you limit yourself to get more. Yes. Because whatever it is that you might want might not even be what you deserve. Yeah. Maybe in the course of you delivering 120%, you might get more than you even wanted. Thank you. I've, and, I, and I've seen it happen over and over and over again. Mm. Um, I remember when we started co um, Combat Impressions, we had the opportunity to work with a client. At first, contracts and um, when I called her a friend because that, that's what she eventually became mm -hmm. and so when she, we got the, the chance she asked us to do something that is not our core business which was mm -hmm. then going to printing to something else but we, we we said we didn't say oh no this is not what we do this is what we do we said you need that for your work okay let's get it done for you we'll get it done we'll get it done and we got it done but when we got it done she was like, no, you didn't do it the way I wanted to do it. And we're like, but it's not even our core business, so. <laughs> but we didn't do it well. Mm. Okay, so how did you want it to be done? Mm. She showed us. And we did that at our own cost. We, rep we did, we did, we did the, the repair mm. at our own cost. Mm. I tell you, Rev, that lady, um, her company went on to become a highest revenue source mm. for more than a decade. Mm. Simply because, number one, we, we went out of uh, limited space. We took the criticism that she gave us, mm. didn't take it as a rejection of us. But improved your skills. Improved our skills and got the person to think of us as a potential partner mm. for uh, more than 13 years. Mm. We're printing for this organization. 
more than 13 years. In fact, one year they even said, oh, okay, somebody in the organization said, ah, these people, they've been printing for us for so long, um, like the um, accounting firms. Yes. It's time for a, 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 a changeover. <laughs> okay, so they said, okay, no problem, let's do a changeover. So we're doing the changeover, and we, so we said, okay, in order to help the incoming firm, mm -hmm. so we wrote, Albert took his time and wrote a detailed handing over notes mm. for the incoming, incoming firm mm -hmm. to reduce the learning curve for them. So he sent the, 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 the thing and then they looked at it and they said, um, okay, this person can do this part, but he can't do this, he can't do this, he can't, do this. in fact, let's retain them. Wow. <laughs> yes. And so the, the opportunity to give more than you are being asked mm -hmm. to do is always, is always a game changer. So to say that I have a three month contract, so when I finish in three months, I that's it. You should look beyond that. You After the three months, that. what else can I offer? What can I offer? While I'm with them now, what do they need? How do they want it? Thank if you. it's beyond my skill set, what do I do in order to be able to deliver for them? Thank you. We're going to talk more about all that in a bit. <laughs> Back to your family life. I mean, spouses who work together sometimes realize that the line between work and marriage, you know, it becomes blurry, it blurs. As, as career and life partners, how do you and your spouse find the right balance between uh, your work and personal lives? Um, do you ever overlap at some point? Do you ever find yourselves in a situation whereby you're supposed to treat each other as business partners, but then uh, the treatment goes to, okay, wife and husband, <laughs> sometimes? Um, I must say, hardly. Hmm. Hardly because um, I know what Albert brings to the table. Hmm. Albert knows what I bring to the table. The table, we, we, we need each other. It's like having an operations, uh, marketing, um, um, every, 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 all the various finance, all the various um, functions um, in, the, in the organization and saying that, okay, so because I know the finance person I, and, and I'm upset to the finance person, I will not talk to the finance person. Who gets hurt? The business or? Oh, mm -hmm. So you, you, if the person, so you would do the work. Mm -hmm. You have to work. You have to. When you finish the work and we get home, then we'll fight. Mm. When we finish the business, we'll get home and we'll fight at home. But whilst we are at work, we'll do the work. When we are at home, as much as possible, we attempt to not. And I say attempt, mm -hmm. because you and I, you know we do yeah, work to the yeah. house. Oh yeah, yes, definitely. Yes. So we do take the work to the house and do the work in the house. Sometimes do the work in the bedroom. So um, this particular presentation, how do you think it should be done? And so on and so forth. And we tweak it together and that kind of stuff. So yes, we, we but, but if it comes to um, this thing, but of course, because um, sometimes I, I try to play the lady's card, so. Yeah. You added a little bit sometimes. <laughs> it's allowed. <laughs> it's allowed. Now, you have four beautiful children. Um, how do you maintain a good family life? Of course, handling four children, managing a business together with your partner, and also being the mother of the house. How do you combine all these? It's a matter of priority. Okay. So, when the children were at their formative ages mm -hmm. um, between the for me between the ages of one to three mm -hmm. I wasn't full-time okay any child that came along the way I would pack whatever I'm doing and be there in their lives mm -hmm. in that stage so you have three years me being around give and take after that you're on your own <laughs> <laughs> that early <laughs> No. Well, not literally, but not literally, yeah, but, yeah. but 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 you know, I I I I I would make sure. So so I had the privilege. I had the privilege of ensuring that all the children are. Um, 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 we, we, I take care of them. I don't have to go to the workplace mm. when they are like three months or something. I take I take the time yeah. off, and um, after that, you know, ensuring. I, I, I couldn't be a very good 
one-on-one -on -one teacher for children. Mm -hmm. So Albert was the one who took care of the home homework, mm -hmm. and then I took care of the rest of the house. Okay. And, and and once they were once they passed Albert's homework, um, if you come to me, it's it's. it's fun and games we will watch the cartoons together we'll do the songs together yes. um, if, if 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 we have to play football we'll go and play football together and um, the mango tree unfortunately we didn't have one in the house one at home. i couldn't climb i mean <laughs> I, we couldn't climb together but if we had had mango trees we would have we climbed have the mango tree it. together and so on and so forth so yes I, and, and and one thing that we do with them is that we ensure that we have the opportunity to, to talk to them mm. to to attend yeah. to understand their world because you can't always understand everybody's world mm -hmm. so we attempt to understand their world and 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 guide them along the path that they should they should they should go and expose them so every year would we'll have a family vacation we would go whether to Cape Coast we would go to um, in Zim, in Azim we would go anywhere mm -hmm. together as a family mm -hmm. and that that we still attempt to do even till today I like how you use attempts I like the honesty in there attempts yes 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 we will not always get it right mm -hmm. but what also helped me apart from the, the way that's bonding with them but then support systems mm. there's no way I could have attempted, I could have done what I was doing if I was there 24 7. True. So I do, I, 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 I um, brought in people and I, they, I formed a family with, with the people that I brought in. So, yeah. for instance, my one young lady that came to stay with us, um, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, Abna, when she came, she had, she was supposed to have finished um, JSX. Okay. But I looked at the English and I said, Lord, this one was not good enough. So I sent her to school. Back to school. I sent her back to school. Okay. It was, that, was, that was a tough time in the family. Lord have mercy. It was a tough mm. time. Because, not, not, not because she didn't want to go. Mm. And I knew that she was, didn't have... Because I was saying that if somebody, if someone like that, let's say I was not in the house mm -hmm. and she had to correct the children's mm -hmm. um, homework, mm -hmm. for, for instance, she didn't know, she didn't have the tools. Mm -hmm. So there's a need for her to upgrade herself. Equip herself. And equip herself. Mm -hmm. And she didn't, she didn't even see the need. at that time the value mm -hmm. of it. But I insisted, I went through it. I remember once and then, um, 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 then I remember very, very clearly, I was about to give up and say, ah, this is too much, let it go. And then I remember very clearly um, God telling me that if, if, if you do not give up, you would reap. Mm. So I said, okay, fair enough. I will not give up. You push through. And I through. continue. So she, so right now she's very independent. She's married. She's gone off, and, and she's very. But but I'm very proud of who she has mm. become. Mm. And she was very very instrumental when I had my 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 last baby mm -hmm. because she was there mm -hmm. and she could because she has been with me for about about more than ten years at that time. So she she could literally be take up. Yes. From from from, yes. from 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 me, and um, she was very very helpful with especially the last the baby. last baby. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Ishira. Beautiful. Now, with the wealth of experience you have as a motivational speaker, I just want to find uh, this uh, in a short space. How do you do? You are you the motivational speaker to your children too, or you are the mom? <laughs> And, and I mean, what's the difference between how you deliver to people outside and how you deliver to them? They are very when, difficult. They are very difficult, right? <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 I'm, I'm mom. Mm, okay. The, um, 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 they will listen to me, but then they would, they would, they would, it's, it's, I find it more interesting to, to engage someone that I meet for the first time mm -hmm. than, than, than them, because they are like, eh. And what about this one? You're like, guys, are you aware that I am? I, I yeah, I'm a, I'm a motivational speaker. Yeah, People know me for this. This is my job. No, 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 no. You, they you, challenge some of the they, things you say because mm. they, they is mom mm -hmm. speaking is mm -hmm. not. Um, but 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 what I love, what I love is the fact that they would go 
challenge mm. and then they come back maybe five years later and say um, you know this thing that you said, you said. <laughs> um, there was some 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 really good one in it and i'm like mm. yeah <laughs> you're not realizing it it's a little too late <laughs> But usually not too, too, too. Not too, too late, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. They're able to correct it early enough. But but they are beautiful children. Mm. Very, very beautiful. I'm, I'm privileged. I, I, I think I'm, uh, Jojo is, is finding his, his himself in, in the consulting firm. Um, Oreku, yes, for sport. And I think Oreku, Oreku is the one I've met. I, I know Oreku, yes. yes. The yes. sportsman, yeah. Yeah, the sportsman. Yeah. yeah um, he, 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 is, he is the sportsman in the house. Um, Nana has just started her service and she's now finding her space. Mm -hmm. And Inshira Baby Last is, oh Lord have mercy. She, she, he is, he is also um, finding his space in, 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 the, in the educational field because he's now in secondary school. Okay. And so he's now making those um, moves that he needs to do. Mm -hmm. But they are, I, 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 I don't, I don't know how my life would have been without, without them, them, right? Yes, they are beautiful. You've beautiful raised children. four beautiful kids. In the span of the years you've done this, till date, what has the whole experience taught you? What has, what has changed in your thinking? What has changed in your delivery since your children came into your life? I think one of, one of the things that I, I learned, I've learned, mm -hmm. is how... I must, in fact, what it has, it has taught me more about my relationship with God. Okay. Because then I look at my relationship with God and talk, look, look at how more childlike I need to, to be, be. Mm. more trusting of mm. what he tells mm. me that I have to mm. do. I also have realized that when I am not just trusting of God, but also in terms of understanding where I need to go, it helps me with how I relate to God. Mm. Their relationship with me additionally have, have, has taught me that things can be from a different angle. Mm. And therefore there's a need for me to pause. Mm -hmm. Because when we do, sometimes when we do morning devotion and you ask them that, okay, so what, are you, what, what do you think about this um, particular um, um, scripture, scripture mm -hmm. or particular, the ideas that they bring, I look at them and I'm like, I never thought of it that way. Mm. So the opportunity to look at things from a different perspective mm -hmm. has always also been, been brought a lot to bear mm. on me. So those are the kind of things that I have I have been privileged to. As, a, as a parent mm. to, to, to learn from my children. Mm. And um, the privilege also to see them grow from a baby to who they are right yeah. now and see them and realize how important a voice is in somebody's life mm -hmm. because that voice either shapes it for the better or for the worse mm. and therefore if we are able to find the voice that would the voice that they would listen to and the voice that they would they would they would they would they would relate to mm. and the voice that would help them become who they were destined to, to be, be. Mm. You, are, you, 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 you you are amazed and you can just stand back and applaud what they have been able to achieve mm -hmm. So my, my children are, are a blessing, mm. a real blessing mm. to me. And um, I, I, I couldn't have asked for, um, not, that, not that they are not naughty, they are. <laughs> don't do that. It comes with it, it's part it of the package. It comes part of it, but, 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 but they, 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 they are joy, they are mm. joy to mm. have. Mm. Joy Beautiful. Have. Where do you draw the inspiration and strength to motivate, especially young people who come across, you come across in the line of your work? Uh, don't you ever get to points where you really need to motivate somebody but you don't you don't know where to start from how I, what do I even look at where does it come from I mean I, I think the right way the right thing to ask is who is the motivational speakers motivator for me for you for me it's God okay and then also what I hope to to achieve mm -hmm. My dream, a 
as an African mm -hmm. is to have ladies and gentlemen who are standing on their feet, who are able, not just, um, not just may do it, but who decide that this is what I want to achieve. They put the, the plans in place. They take the necessary actions and achieve those dreams. Mm. I do not believe for once that our Africa needs to be um, a begging basket. Mm -hmm. I believe that our Africa must be one that people look at for direction. Mm. So in my estimation, in my, in my dreams, in everything that I do, I'm looking to grow, I'm looking to encourage, I'm looking to pull out of the young people that I interface with that self-belief, mm -hmm. that self-reliance. Very important. And that self-capability. Mm -hmm to do what you ought to do and not rely on somebody to do it for you. Mm. So, I mean, um, if um, I have a young person coming up to me and saying that, oh, my, my, yes, your daddy should have paid your school, but what if he didn't? So what happens? How do you, how do you step up to yourself? How do you step up to yourself? Mm. What do you do? And that is why I was very, I was very, very happy with, I mean, when, when Albert, when I met Albert, mm -hmm. he's somebody who had a, 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 I mean, his father died when he was two, mm -hmm. or even, not even two. And so he 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 had to create yes. himself. Yes. So I don't I don't like people when 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 sometimes people come to my to my office and say my my daughter or my son wants something. I'm like, so where is your son? Mm -hmm. Why why is he or she not with you? He should have been in. I mean, there's this story where when we were one day looking for a particular person in the office and. Um, a young gentleman came to the office, came to say, okay, he's finished tech, um, he did um, 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 publishing and so he wanted to work with us. So we said, okay, you did work, okay, okay. Let's see what you, what you can do. So he um, did, the, did the interview, we looked at what you, and we said, okay, you look like somebody who is good. And so we hired. Apparently, his mother had called me earlier and had um, said, oh, please, my son has finished school and wanted a job. And I said, no. No, Kwesi went on to be one of our finest, finest gentlemen in combat. And so if Kwesi had relied on the Mommy. man finding opportunities for him, he would have probably never no, got he... into the position he is now. He would never. He took his life in his own hands. Exactly. Came and tried. Yes. And he got through. And he got through. I didn't mm. even take his name. Mm. So sometimes people call me and say, well, I want to work at um, one of my boards. I want to work at my board. And I say, hmm, okay. I mean, I want to be in the organization. So since you're a board member, can mm. you help? And I'm like, okay. No, it doesn't work that way mm. with me. Mm. I don't I don't interfere with hiring I I can't for the life of me even think of it because if I hire if they hire you based on what I said oh I pushed you yeah and you are not delivering hmm. I cannot come and say why is the organization not doing well because your recommendation failed us my your recommendation failed us mm. therefore let the organization buy who is best for the organization mm. who the and job. therefore i can query mm -hmm. why our output is not doing well mm. so I, I i i really believe in self actualization and self um um um, um delivery mm. okay <laughs> I get it. Lester, are you listening? You're listening, right? Good. Goes to all of us. Every single one of us here. Now, you, you've authored, you've co-authored 26 motivational and business books, um, including the bestseller, Define Arts, my favorite, uh, and one one keys to achievement and, of course, fulfillment. How did you start writing and how would you describe your creative inspiration and process? 
Um, Albert told us this. I want to find yours as well. <laughs> well, um, what, one of the things that led to that um, quest, of course, you've re read other people's books mm -hmm. and you know the, the, the kind of what you've, uh, um, even though most of my readings at the early stage was 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 limited to um, fun and f creative creative work and then university and post university has mm -hmm. been more in the um, 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 building or development yes. part uh, um, you realize that people's thoughts written down enables you to see or travel or get information that otherwise you, you would not have had access to mm. So part of um, the, 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 the journey as people were asking, how did you do this and how did you do this? And you're saying the mm. same thing over, over and, and over, over yeah. again. So we said, why don't we crystallize these words into, um, 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 into, into print? Because here we are, we are printers anyway. Mm. So it makes it cheaper, not less as cheaper, because the, in, 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 our, in, our, in combat, we'll, we'll, we used to pay. Mm. We would pay, even though it was we owned the firm, we would pay them for printing for us because they would come and say, where is the check for mm -hmm. this particular one? So where they are clients. Mm. And we used to pay for, to write their books. So it made it cheaper for us. And we had been editing people's works. And um, because that was one of the things we said in, in combat, you need to print something. Mm -hmm. We need to have um, a, this communication. Um, this thing is communication. That's where the linguistics helped a lot. Because you're looking at how an organization communicates with their public. Yes. You're looking at how um, um, and, um, the, uh, the, the artwork would communicate so the person can get what you're trying to do. Mm. Immediately the person mm. sees the artwork. Mm. So yes, um, that's what we did. And um, based on that, we had the opportunity of starting writing, crystallizing our thoughts. And hey, as you know, um, an author lives twice. Mm -hmm. um, it's when you live, you've spoken your words. But after you've gone 100 years ago, um, that's why we still read Shakespeare even though he's been gone since the 1600s hmm. so we wanted to live more than once which of your 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 books is your favorite i'm sure you should have a favorite in there um all of them are great okay but i think the one that always makes me is what you were talking about about okay. the defying mm, odds. Defying odds. Because life is full of odds. Very. And uh, the the need for you to um, look at those odds and mm -hmm. say, despite mm -hmm. all these, all these, I will still achieve what I will achieve. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't even get the outcome that you wanted mm -hmm. together. It may not be the best outcome, but the opportunity to defy whether it's physical or mm -hmm. mental or social or to to achieve that that that, that dream makes it worthwhile so i think that's one of my that would be your favorite all right not my favorite one not, one of them okay all right <laughs> all of them are favorites but then just that's just one of it um with all the different aspects of your career in mind um still on favorites what would you say is your most enjoyable role and why which of the spaces do you find yourself and 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 feel great like this is it i mean you, you all of them will definitely make you feel good but which one stands out Stands so the motivational speaker, the consultant, the board I member. I think I think um, I'm, I'll, I'll, the one that stands out is the one that makes me cry, mm. and the one that makes me cry is the one that um, when we have done an intervention and we have the opportunity to listen to the impact stories mm. from the beneficiaries and seeing someone coming to say, oh, um, I used what you, you used, taught us or what, what we did and based on that, I've been able to do, do X. Mm. That, that puts me on the moon. I, I have goosebumps now because Albert said same, <laughs> exact words. <laughs> Oh, really? He said same and mentioned a situation, I think a, a particular time in Tamale, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when a man came up, I think you guys went there to speak, and then a year after, the guy came back, not to listen, but to actually share a testimony yeah. that a year ago, he had almost given up. 
and he said on on his way back i mean right at the auditorium he couldn't shed tears but then on his way back you guys found yourselves you know shedding tears because the experience was so it was so it was so it, it, it was it was it was heartwarming you know to come back a year after i mean things you said you, you probably never felt would go that far touch someone's life so bad that they, they went back to what they had left off and they had made the best out of it that's a good one that, that, very that's, good one that's that's always always mm. always gets 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 it mm. wow <laughs> yeah guys we're live on facebook y107.9 fm so why the board series we're here spending a good time i'm sure you guys have realized how i'm taking my time i'm enjoying every bit of what comfort says you you should never you should never rush through things when it comes to <laughs> comfort because uh, if you miss one <laughs> you miss everything sis after 11 um comfort kindly wear your with all due respect kindly wear your headphone I for knew me it. when when he when she brought the thing to you I knew no it. i was just checking my time on I, the phone I, 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 mean, I was okay. just checking my time on the phone okay hello hello good morning auntie how are you doing good I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm awesome, Auntie. We miss you. It's been a long time since we last saw you. I know. It's been so long. It's been a year. It's been... <laughs> it's 2021. Yes, we met in 2021. Auntie Joyce, good, yes. good afternoon. Oh, good morning. Auntie Joyce, we have comfort in the building. She's listening to you. You mean my, my comfort? Yes, your comfort is in the building. <laughs> my comfort? Yes. It's so exciting. <laughs> She's one of the greatest ladies uh, that continues to walk on the land of Ghana. Mm. One of my favorite ladies. Mm. Do, you, um, do you remember the first day you met Comfort, Auntie? I don't quite remember, but one thing comes very clearly. We were roommates. <laughs> we, were, we had to go for a conference, and I think it was in D.C. I'm sure I must have snored her. Um, I must have snored her out of her wit. Wow. But she was so gracious. And, you know, from that time, my heart has always been for comfort. Mm. But it's not just sentimental. It's based on who I know she is. Mm. First, in the Lord. And then secondly, she she is so versatile. She's so brilliant. I mean, her brain, her brain is awesome. At the time we were having the meeting in the U.S., she was studying. And, you know, she'd sleep and wake up and study. And, you know, and she has put it to use. Mm. She and her husband have written so many books. Yes. Comfort has been able to raise children mm. and raise them very well. You should see the way they bond and they talk to one another. And then she's also extremely humble. She serves... Mm. Uh, you know, Lady Joy put a bill mm. at uh, Christ Temple, and she does it with such grace. Mm. When you see her serving her, you wouldn't think that um, Comfort has so many accolades mm. to, her, to her name in her life. Wow. I really love her. Wow. I really love her, and I'm, I'm very proud of her, especially since she's a junior Accra. <laughs> <laughs> she's a junior Accra, and I'm glad that, you know, uh, like me, the, the school has shaped her so beautifully. Mm. Comfort. Yes, Auntie Joyce. How are you, girl? I'm doing well. I'm doing, oh. doing well. <laughs> You know, Comfort is a great thank lady. You, thank you. She's a great lady. And, you know, I love the way she works with her husband. Mm. I mean, both of them respect each other so well that uh, they behave in a very seamless kind of way. Mm. I think both of them recognize each other's strengths. Mm -hmm. And there's never a time when you, you would even catch a hint, not even a hint, of disagreement. I mean, with them, I really understand what the Lord says, and the two shall be one. Mm. You can you can see it. I mean, if you're discerning, then when you are in their company, it's fantastic. It's really good. Mm. Um, comfort is a great lady. Thank That's you so I much, Auntie Joyce, for your a words. Be before we let you go, lady. by the way, 
we I asked her earlier who her motivation comes from she said God but since I have you here I mean you've known her for so many years for yeah. the first time let's have the motivational speaker get worse of motivation from somebody else so please tell us something you've been wanting to tell her for all these years I should tell her what I've been wanting to tell her all these years. Yes. Comfort. Yes, Auntie Joyce. <laughs> Even though you do so much already, there's still so much in you. I know you have programs and, and projects that reach out to people. And I know that since this COVID, you've created a certain niche for discussion and so on. But this year, my prayer is that God will lead you to another sphere of engagement with people. And here I wouldn't just say women, but with people, because I think God created the world for people, both men and women. Mm. And sometimes we even, as women, need to reach out to the men some more. So my own prayer is that you will not restrain yourself. Now the children are grown up, so you have time. Don't restrain yourself and just get to do what God has put on your heart. Mm. I know Albert will agree with you and both of you can do it well. That's what I'll say. Amen. Yeah, Thank you so much, Auntie. Thank you. Thank we, you we will so get in much, touch with you. Joyce. Enjoy the rest of your day, Auntie. Will do. All right. Enjoy the rest of the day, too. All right. Wow, that was Auntie Joyce Ayi. She was one of the very first people to come through Wiley the Bot series and share a okay. life story with us. And she is a phenomenal lady. She is. I mean, she's, she uh, I, I, I always say she's a gem to the nation. She is. And Africa, you know, at large, we are blessed to have people like her. I love her words. She's 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 um, she's um, beautiful in and out. Mm. I mean, we've we've had the privilege of 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 being knowing her for quite some time now, and um, the the joy she attaches to everything, mm. anything that she does, um, is, is, is 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 very very wonderful to watch. And even when you are, you, I mean, yeah, yeah. Your wits and you're like, hey, what are the, the, the way she would encourage you? Yes. Okay, so we can do this. And we can do this. It's, it's, it's amazing. And I sometimes I wonder where she gets her energy from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She does, she's tireless. Mm -hmm. And, and 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 being being having the privilege of of, of, of knowing her is one of the joys of my life. Mm. Thank you so much. Um, at this point, I want to find out what do you do. I mean, your work is fun, family is fun, but during your free time, apart from reading, okay, I'm just trying to clear out all the other things that you mentioned. Apart from reading, maybe watching movies. What else do you do for fun? Do you like music? What kind of songs do you like listening to? Oh, um, I, I love music. I mean, my mother used to say that um, when we were in the, I mean, in those days, the taxis weren't playing a lot of music. Mm. But any time the music plays, I dance. So sometimes <laughs> I wonder if I couldn't have been a dancer in my other life. But, I mean, I, I jam any time mm. I Anything. hear any f nice music, whether it's contemporary music, music or um, old-fashioned mm -hmm. um, twist, less twist again anything I, I i i don't i don't mind the you don't beat. mind as long as it sounds good so good. far as the, the the beat is on mm. my groove is on mm. <laughs> how is a regular day like for comfort okran what time do you wake up when you wake up what do you do what time do you go to the office how many hours do you spend out when you're home what are the activities well, my typical day usually starts around 4.35, mm. sometimes even 4, depending on what I have to do. Mm -hmm. So my typical day will start with my devotion, mm. after which I do my gym at 5. Okay. You work out still? I, I have to mm. work out. My dream is to live to be at least 80, 90. I've given my, I, I, at 40, I did a, f a 50 year plan. So right now I'm working at, uh, uh, you know, so if I'm aiming to live till 40, live till 90, mm -hmm. that implies that my body needs to serve me till then. Mm. If I don't 
strengthen mm -hmm. if you don't maintain the physical it. if i don't if i don't maintain the physical mm -hmm. it will it, it may be live but it may not be strong it may not I be sure healthy so it is in my personal interest mm -hmm. and in my long-term interest mm -hmm. to 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 work out every single day mm -hmm. um i attempt to do ten thousand steps a day um i mean i can i can walk <laughs> 10,000 steps a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can walk f right now. My office is easily gone. So I walk home, which, which, which gives me about 17,000 steps. Um, um, at least once or twice a week. Okay. Um, on Saturdays. You do it. I hike. Okay. It's a huge, I mean, so there's a recent, uh, a friend, just um, Seth Okran, um, introduced me to it. And I... You love it. So you go uphill? I go, I go, I go. I go into a Brie Hills, not okay. not the not the not the one people know. No, not no, 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 not those ones. Go into so, the proper ones. No, no, no. This is this is this is uncharted parts. Where the waterfall area is. The waterfall okay. area. So you are going. Sometimes that the, the, we need to take a cutlass and <laughs> cut, cut the cut through okay. the the the, the, the the woods and, uh -huh. and go in there. And it's beautiful. The mm. serenity. Mm. The, the 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 hearing the birds, mm. hearing hearing those those. Calls and the I, nature and, mm. and 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 seeing giving giving the the, the green mm. I, I i i can't wait for saturday morning <laughs> and to move out yes 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 and at, at first we used to we used to um at, at the, we used to have um, either a kinky party or mm -hmm. a watchy party at home mm -hmm. on saturday mornings mm -hmm. now i've taken to missing it mm -hmm. you miss the kinky and i miss the kinky and the watching but, but i'm sure they reserve some for you but honestly that 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 view that that's that quietness the, that because at some point in the hike, especially when we are coming back, mm -hmm. it's challenging, mm -hmm. and you need to remind yourself that there's a goal at the end, mm -hmm. and therefore you still have to put one more mm -hmm. step mm -hmm. until you reach the mm -hmm. the, the, the uh, where we go, where we we are base camp. You can't stop. Mm -hmm. So that 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 challenge mm -hmm. to keep on going and 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 being careful, and yet looking out for the other members of the team. Mm. Is everybody okay? Mm. Do we have to stop? You know, all that. It, 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 so you have community. Mm. You have your individual walk. Yes. And, and you still have the love or that, that greenery that surrounds so you when mm. you go for that walk. Mm. It's, it makes the week. Mm. It's beautiful. You, you mentioned earlier that you are a Christian. I... I want to find out, were you raised as a Christian or you found your faith later in life? If you did, at what point? Um, Daddy was was a Presbyterian lay preacher. Mm -hmm. So we used to go preaching. Mm -hmm. But that that was Daddy. That mm -hmm. wasn't coming. That wasn't you. So, I mean, when, when, when it came to a time that I said, uh, this thing cry. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of my way. Mm -hmm. And then um, one day, um, a friend of a very good friend of us, Harry, Harry um, passed by on, on Sunday evening. Harry came to visit us. Um, Harry was this young g g g photographer who was doing great. I mean, was charting his own path, you yeah. know, taking pictures and, and actually printing them. In those days, there was only one printing. There were, I think, two or three printing facilities in Ghana. And Harry had the boldness to start printing his own pictures in his in his in okay. his room no not his house his room that's his a, room. a starter nowadays people <laughs> think that when you start you need to have a house no yeah. you just need a room a room to that start space with, yeah you know and and so we're all excited and we couldn't wait to see mm -hmm. harry and um, so harry came on sunday evening sunday morning by 5 30 harry had died how he had a crisis, was a sickler, and Harry had a crisis, and Harry passed away. Wow. And I knew without a shadow of doubt, if that had been me, uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't a bad girl, no. But I knew, so immediately that, that night, I asked the Lord into my life, and that is when I became a Christian. Mm. 
because then I discover the joy of serving the Lord. I discover the joy of walking with God. I discover the joy of listening to God. I discover the joy of being a child of God. I discover the joy of 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 of, of um, um, finding that 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 special place, being the apple. Hmm. When when they say I'm the apple of God's eye, I talk about me having willy blessings. Um, because I love watching <laughs> and um, one day for instance and this was road show mm -hmm. we um, with, with with our road shows um, because we st we always start on time mm -hmm. but because they sometimes are so sold out yeah. people used to come two hours three hours before time so we are scheduled to start at nine o'clock by six o'clock you have people mm -hmm. at, the, at the gate mm -hmm. so we couldn't afford we don't have that luxury where we'll say that or oh, we'll come in the morning and set up we set up the night before the whole place is pristine before before six so we had finished our setup around two o'clock the night before and I had the previous night in terms of my planning asked the um, um, what's called the uh, trade fair people that what time are they come they say eight o'clock I said no eight o'clock is not possible because people are coming at six mm -hmm. so ideally you should be here by five thirty five four thirty even to sweep up clean the place clean, get the like, place ready uh, no auntie in the lower baba eight o'clock you know it is so what it i was is. wondering lord mm -hmm. i mean this is we finished you, your decor you know how the place is mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. you know not, not not set so i was saying god please help me i mean i don't know how i, I, I can get this place swept and it, the pavilion a was we we're doing pavilion a and b together mm -hmm. Then I'm wow. seeing somebody kind of, um, picking up bottles at the place, and I said, "Oh, um, I, I, do you need it for anything?" He said, "Oh, he he's come for an all night, and he just passed by. He saw these bottles, so he was nice." I was like, um, "Can you help me in cleaning up?" This was at two o'clock mm -hmm. or three, two thirty-three. By the time we returned before the six o'clock, the five o'clock, when we came back, this guy had cleaned up the place to a pristine way. Mm. And I asked myself, Lord, how did you do this? Mm. How did you bring the person that would help me at the material moment that I needed it? So that's, I mean, another time we we, 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 um, we did it, we had done a road show like that from morning to evening, I hadn't eaten. So at the end of the day, I mean, I always let them bring the crew food. Mm -hmm. So my friend brought, had put my wachi down, I was ready for my wachi. And then one of the team members said, oh, I hadn't eaten. I mean, he hadn't eaten. And I was really looking for where to sink my teeth in Willie. Mm -hmm. And then so the so so here we are. There's the the and he hadn't eaten and I hadn't eaten. I could have said oh, so reluctantly, mm -hmm. I gave my wachi and my willy to the guy. So was, I was going to sit in the car and go home, and Albert said, "Why don't we pass Labadi Beach, mm -hmm. uh, you know, La, La Palm at that time, mm -hmm. to have dinner there, so that at least you'd have something yeah. quick to eat?" So we're going to La Palm. Believe it or not, that day, La Palm had really on their menu. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So that, for me, that's so when I say my willy blessing, it is, it is that kind of way where God takes his time to orchestrate mm. the minutest mm. details, mm. things that I would never mm. think of, but that he has it orchestrated, mm. he has it planned, he, mm. has it, he has it lined up for mm. me, and I walk into it with his with with his leading mm -hmm. so i i i i, I with that, that's why i am i am because he is mm. if he is if it, there's no god there's no there's me. no you wow beautiful story right there guys why little boat series is getting interesting by the minute now for many years the springboard brand has inspired and developed many students business executives wives husbands and more to become better than what they used to be now the sub product of springboard such as the weekly virtual you know university the annual seminars and road shows the recent core program uh, marvelous and addresses the gap in our part of the world uh, human capital how do did you conceive this concept and would you say the rollout is intact as the original idea was evolved uh, with time? Yes, the it rollout has. has even been more, has, has, has been 
It's been greater than greater yeah. than I even ever envisaged. Mm. When we started, I I I I I, I, I was not expecting uh, an immediate mm. turnout. Mm -hmm. I mean, my, my my dream, my 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 concept of the fact that if we are able to touch the lives of um, one hundred people. Mm -hmm. Those hundred people will touch another hundred, and then we'll have a ripple effect across the country. And so we talk about having, touching, um, igniting um, um, ten thousand dreams, one person at a time, and so on and so forth. But the impact that we have been privileged to witness, to have been privileged to be part of, especially for this core program, has been amazing. Mm. I mean, we. We were boasting that oh, we've had the opportunity to touch the lives of 200,000 people. But according to a geopol um, survey that we conducted on this core program, mm -hmm. a six month program, um, the geopol uh, results talked about 20, having been able to touch the lives of 23 million people. You were looking at just 200,000. No, uh, it's, it's amazing. Mm. It's amazing, and 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 it can only, as Aunt Joyce was was challenging, it can only grow. It can only become more impactful. Mm. And I'm really, really privileged to have had to the opportunity to work with the Mastercard Foundation and um, the Solidaridad for the core program, mm. and for many years, MTN Enterprise Group, Data Bank. Um, 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 jocks, car mm -hmm. rental, you know, all those amazing brands that come on board mm -hmm. year after year. Um, UMB, um, Echo Bank asking that let's develop the mm -hmm. capital of our country together. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's something that I could never, mm -hmm. in my wildest mm -hmm. dreams, imagine. Could imagine. Thank you so much for sharing all these wisdom bulletins with us. I mean, we've been inspired. I'm touched, actually. Uh, people who know Wiley the Boat series know how very wild I am on the show. But today I'm like super calm <laughs> because I don't want to miss anything. I'm like uh, I'm like uh, an attendant at one of your courses. You know? I'm just sitting down, <laughs> jotting down points. I have my pen. People who are watching on Facebook, some are asking what I'm writing. <laughs> I'm taking down the, the tips myself. I need it too, guys. 27 minutes past nine. We're wrapping up on Wiley the Board Series, but we have something special coming up in a bit. Um, Comfort, final words from you. What would you say to the youth, the, the young ones building their hopes and dreams in life this moment, the, 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 the many young people listening to the show now? They are blessed. Mm. They live in an amazing time mm. of their lives. I can see how technology has leveraged the the art that they used mm -hmm. to have so much so that they can live here mm -hmm. in Ghana mm -hmm. and work anywhere mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. The barrier between them and their dreams of working anywhere in the world is they realizing how they can plan that they are alive how they can take the risk, how they can take opportunities, how they can grow themselves, where they will take time to develop themselves and not believe that because they have just a first degree, they are at um, the zenith of their lives. There's a time to develop and that time always, always comes when you start that journey, and that journey in the, work, in, the, in the workspace. So I would encourage them, they should take their time, mm -hmm. they, should, they should develop themselves, they should, they should volunteer, they should love they are fellow human beings, and and most importantly, they should exhibit that um, um, that um, um, African um, um, life where we are each other's keeper. Yes, we are because you are. Mm -hmm. That African spirit is not. I mean, we.
we, 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 we believe in the next person. We look out for the next person. We don't grow by ourselves only. We go together. In Kabum, one, yeah. we, once we bond together, once we think of our neighbor, we can move and create an Africa that would just blow the minds of, 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 of the rest of the world. Mm, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like, I'm very humbled. I'm not even joking. I'm very humbled and I'm glad I experienced this moment with you. Of course, on behalf of my listeners, every single one of them, Global Media Alliance wife, I'd like to say thank you. The series on radio, you are constantly with us. I mean, throughout the lockdown season, a single day will not go by without you hearing a comfort voice and it's a comforting voice. <laughs> And so we applaud you for that. We say a big thank you on behalf of the company. At, at this point, let's let's do something extra. So Global Media Alliance, um, our BC, Happy FM, YFM, ETV Ghana, always have themes for every single month. We've been doing it for a while now. We are in a fresh year, 2021, and we are about to... Yes, premiere a new month with the themes. We decided to let a week go uh, in the first month. And so, uh, Timothy is our general manager. He's with us here, and he's going to share a moment with us. Of course, we're doing this with you, um, Comfort. Fresh Start is the theme for this month. Uh, by the way, welcome. Welcome, Timothy. Thank you. Thank and you, Rick. For people who don't know uh, Tim's participation in Why the Debate Series, actually a part of the, the team. We're constantly, you know, researching and, and putting work together to ensure that we bring you the Debate Series. So it's been three seasons so far, and he's been an ample part of the team. Welcome once again. Uh, comfort. So today is a day we've all been waiting for. Um, the theme for GMABC this month is Fresh Start. Let me start off with you before Tim comes in. Uh, the concept is based on the fact that uh, we have to ensure success, or to ensure success, individuals must have an annual plan and goes uh, across all facets of their lives, finance, uh, entertainment, family, education. What would you say is the key thing in planning our lives in order to have a good year? Well, um, <laughs> In order to, you so said, what, what, what do I think is the key is, thing? Yes. Okay, right. The key thing in planning for this year is intentionality. Mm. It's been intentional, but please, before I go there, I would like to thank mm. Timothy Tim. <laughs> for, for being a mentor on the core program. Mm. Timothy's team was an amazing one. I was on the platform, mm -hmm. and the way he would share with, 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 with them and how he encouraged them and motivated them. I mean, we couldn't have done it without mm -hmm. Timothy, and I would like to say thank you so much mm. to Timothy for. For, for being there for the team and for being there for core mm. and for motivating that that so on the other one let's now come to wife and then for being part and you know he came as one of the mentors for um, hangouts I do hang out every Thursday okay. um, 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 after evening and um, one of our beneficiaries had Belinda Belinda who who happens to be in GIG okay. had had written to us about um, ch some challenges that she was facing and and um, she, she happened to be there and immediately he offered internship opportunity wow. to Belinda. And I know Belinda will be starting very soon here in YFM. And so I would like to say thank you very much. You, 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 you made it happen. Thank you. Thank you wow. for the opportunity to come forth. And the entire Springboard team. Yeah. I mean, Springboard has thank been you. what has... Springboard has been the product that, that has made some of us, you yes. know, like Eskin, far yes. back in yes. school. Yes, far is going We always Kumasi. follow. We get a ticket. Yes. We follow the whole show. <laughs> when we don't have the money to buy the ticket, we wait. So, <laughs> so it's uploaded on YouTube. Wow. And then we Tim. go to watch the sessions. <laughs> so we had to give back. My God, my God, my God. <laughs> wow. The memories are so great. I mean, I wanted to keep that part out of our interview, but <laughs> way back, I went to Kumasi Anglican. I was okay. in senior high school. Okay. I always thought I was ahead of my mates because, you know, people would invest time in other things but then things like springboard 
I'm sure maybe we might have met, but we didn't know each other back then. I was in senior high school, but I never missed. I think the last one was was Akia US before I came, mm-hmm. and I would go on YouTube back then. I mean, technology had not advanced to this level. Yeah. You'd have to go to internet cafes and rewatch it. Yes, because it will stay with you. These are things, practical things that will upgrade your life if you put them into practice. Yeah. And so I mean, once again, since he's mentioned, thank you so much for touching on it. Maybe some of us wouldn't have gotten this far. I did not mean that the steps you you yeah. had given us to too. And so God bless you. God bless Springboard, the whole concept, everything else. And, and the you phenomenal and team. Mm. Phenomenal mm. team mm. led by, mm. by Matthew. Matthew does a great job. Phenomenal. Fresh start. Yes, For so back to fresh start, mm. yes. I was, so I was saying that intentionality mm-hmm. is, 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 the, is, the, is the way to go. Mm. Um, being intentional about this year, mm. being intentional about the choices mm. you make, being intentional about what you want to achieve, being intentional about how you want to achieve that thing, being intentional about the kind of values you put on those things. Mm. Because it's not enough to say that, oh, I am going to do, to build a house. Mm. What kind of house are you building? What for, for fabric are you using? Mm. Such that if you, if somebody should come and um, um, examine your work, your work would pass, or you use shoddy materials that the work will fall. Mm. So intentionality is really, really important. And I would like to um, encourage everyone to part of that thing is to be intentional mm-hmm. in what they do. Mm. Love. Love your work. Be passionate about that. Mm. Because when you love it, you put everything that you owe you that is in you to mm. ensure that it succeeds. Mm-hmm. If you are in the workplace because you have to show up, you 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 mm-hmm. show up. But when you love what you're doing, you love what you are, you are, you, 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 you love the change that you are doing. You, you, you do it so, so beautifully. Mm. You do it mm. with such grace that people would enjoy it. So the opportunity that we have in 2021 is even greater than all those years that have passed by. Mm. So the fresh start that we've been giving, let's not let it go. Mm. And I would encourage everybody listening to us right now, YFM, the station for the youth, where we have to yearn for more. Mm. Mm. (laughs) Man, be intentional Mm. in everything that you do this year. Eventually, if you see some young lady or some young guy and you check the person out, be intentional. Intentional, yes. Let your intentions carry you. Let your intentions carry Mm. you. Powerful. I think we started on the right note. <laughs> Tim, let me just find out from you. I mean, for our first time listeners, what's the idea behind We Theming Our Months, GMABC? And then tell us a little bit more with regards to activities, what people should expect in this month. Fresh start. All right, Eskin, thank you. Um, so, so for everybody listening to us, GMABC is Global Media Alliance Broadcasting Company Limited. And um, it's YFM Accra, YFM Takradi, YFM Kumasi, Happy FM, and ETV. ETV and so we are serving the... The people who prefer local content, mm-hmm. uh, as in sorry, local language mm-hmm. tree and Ghana mixed, and then we have YFM is Ghana's number one station across the Golden Triangle, and then TV visuals. Mm-hmm. So 2020, um, the creative team of YF uh, of Global Media Alliance decided that look, apart from entertaining, informing, we need to be intentional. Mm-hmm. I'll borrow the word <laughs> from Photocrat, intentional about taking our listeners and our followers through a journey, and so every month we intentionally select a theme, a theme and that rise through the entire month mm. so in all our programs mm. so from morning show to afternoon mid morning on yfm happy fm etv if the theme is a about 30 percent of our content for every show will focus on that mm. so that our listeners would would develop and so this year um, our themes are first january is fresh start mm. because we believe that you know 2020 had these ups and downs it was a tough and there's year. always an opportunity to bounce back mm. So starting the year, how do we start the year intentionally mm. right? Mm. And so uh, from planning, budgeting, finance, as 
comfortable to grant said if you've seen if you've spotted a lady <laughs> or a young man be intentional about it so we have conversations about family planning the, yeah planning your marriage mm. planning your wedding mm. don't go and borrow money mm. from the banks mm. and go and do a flashy mm. wedding now there's covet mm. so just do one or two buy cook and fanta and some <laughs> and ask people to join via zoom and then save the money for your package so these are some of the <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Tim, take your two for that. Take your two for that. So these are some of the conversations mm. we'll be having. Mm. Educational planning. How do you face out your education? How do you finance it? Investment, finance and family planning, even pet planning, everything. So January is our first start. It involves planning, budgeting, achieving your resolutions, implementing your plans also, and evaluating your plan. How to go about that. Mm. So we'll be having thought leaders and guests like comfort okay. I haven't told her though but I think that's we've officially told her yes. <laughs> <laughs> and other great speakers and, and, mm. and knowledgeable people mm. to take us to then we move to February mm. February is our love month mm. coined around the you know 14th February mm -hmm. so our February theme will be everything about love everything about love the proper ways of loving mm. not last mm. and so how do you love someone your family your mom your dad your children how do you love them love you know, how at do work. You exactly at work if you love your business or your work you are not going to shortchange your employer mm -hmm. so love is everything you know so that's february so it's not only going to be oh go and buy the ice cream and no, go no, and sit no, at no, some no. place and enjoy some lovey dovey <laughs> no 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 it's about how to love what you do mm. love yourself mm. yeah like comfort can said she, she said that every year they take a family vacation mm -hmm. why do you work so hard and you don't take a vacation so that's loving yourself first mm. before you can love others mm. so that's the love month in february then march is cultural history month yes we are taking back and going back to our roots also coined around sixth march because of our independence yes so i'm going to take our listeners and our viewers to ghana's history uh, from the colonial era to when we became in independent the 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 coups that we've gone through so that we learn from our past mm. so that today if a politician is telling you the youth that go and stand by the roadside mm. and go and bend ties mm. because i don't believe in the result of the election mm. if you follow our platforms you realize what happened years ago in, yeah. and you realize that we don't need to go to the past mm. but there's always a better way to resolve in disputes and so that's much mm. and then in april we do tech month technology month okay. because of covid we've seen the importance of tech. technology and so april we're going to treat everything technology on all our platforms so phones gadgets data the making internet money of through things, technology robotics automation mm -hmm. everything that's mm -hmm. what we're going to do mm -hmm. we're going to break it down mm -hmm. so for businesses young people entrepreneurs how do you get into the tech industry how do you make it big in tech we'll bring seasoned speakers to be talking about it and then on our social media pages all these things will be live we'll be also there. as well so mm -hmm. there'll be artworks there'll mm -hmm. be tidbits every day the live then streaming live streaming mm. everything and then when you go on our pages you see tidbits every time everything we do it's over there and then um may is health man yeah because we believe that upon everything you need to have a healthy body comfort you can said two two <laughs> days in a week she walks to her home and saturday she hikes yes that's healthy living yes if you if you become successful and this body can you carry you through your activities what's the use what of it use? so may is health and environment environment man. Man coined around because fifth june is world environment world environmental, day. so we yes. end the main activities with a grand event to 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 mark world environmental day and so it goes on and on we have um june is our financial literacy month where we talk about how to save how to invest mm -hmm. how to put money into business mm -hmm. and then july is our um, insurance month mm -hmm. we talk about how to get into insurance what is insurance the concept of insurance some people think that you know some people even insure and insure their phones their cars why do you buy um, an 80,000 Ghana cities car and you decide that you do third party, third insurance, party insurance for 400 cities. Yes. What happens That's when, no you, point. when you hit the right? You have no security. Exactly. <laughs> you can insure your watch, mm -hmm. you can insure your phone, mm -hmm. some people insure their dogs. So we, we will enlighten listeners and viewers and all, all these all things. That. And like I said, all these things will have... Uh, did you know that you could check if a car was... Uh, if a car had validity mm -hmm. in terms of insurance mm -hmm. by just typing a short code yeah. on your phone, you could. Give people people all that don't know. So these 
this is what we'll be giving mm. out on our social media mm. pages and then content and then we'll move to Jula, entrepreneurship yeah. month october okay. how you can set up a business so we've heard about it but how do you go to step by step approaches and then uh, we move to in november we go to road safety month we are doing road safety month in november because the statistics show that in december, december we have hike in road spice, accidents yes. and so we want to educate our listeners and take Ghanaians to safety measures so that we prepare them ahead of mm. december so november is road safety month we have uh, guests from the road safety commission insurance companies and experts to take us to and then Auto december companies, yeah. is our csr and giving back month yeah. where we encourage people to give back and then we give back as a company it's our father christmas month exactly <laughs> so this is what, this is what the theme is about every month we've intentionally created a theme we've built it we have content mm. promotion everything to carry our listeners to and all these themes will drive content events products everything that everything. has to do with yes. gmabc yes. Yes. will be themed according to these topics that he's mentioned so, so sponsors are also welcome, welcome to come on board well. whether mm. corporate company want to sponsor mm. people who have product that they want to launch and the marketing opportunities also there because because of the team month we reduce our rate cards so mm -hmm. if you come on board as a partner to let's say tech month mm -hmm. and you are let's say a telco a yeah. or something we drop our rate cards to about 25 percent like about 75 percent discount so it's an opportunity for companies to come over because you come on board as a partner, as a partner and we yes. see the theme month as our csr mm. as our corporate mm. um, social responsibility corporate shared value yes nowadays csv so you come on board to partner us to give back to society and so you don't pay our but actual pay. rate card mm. exactly mm. so we're calling on companies to come on board to sponsor not only money but in terms of resource and knowledge mm. so a company like springboard could be our partner oh, we are already so help us <laughs> We are, we are already on board. Exactly. So that's what the theme is about. In general, it's fresh start. And I believe she talked about it. And mm. so this is what it is about. And I'm encouraging everybody listening to us, everybody watching this video, mm. those who watch after, to make sure that they tune in to YFM Accra 107.9, YFM Kumasi 102.5, YFM Takade 97.9, Happy FM 98.9, and ETV. Catch us on social media. We stream all our programs live on YouTube. We are live on TuneIn. We are live on our on our website. Mm. You can catch us every time, wherever you are in Ghana and in the world. Join us and let's make this happen. I think I want to give Tim a show. It's not in my position, but Tim, Tim, we'll have a conversation after. Yeah, you agree, right? I want to. I so want to give you a show. I mean, it's way out of my. my Chris, we can make it happen, right? Thank you so much. But let's officially do this. Since we are launching the year with regards to our teams, we're doing fresh starts. Um, let's all with one spirit, our listeners, everyone listening to DJ Tim, our comfort, let's officially count down. Uh, three, two, one. Fresh start. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through Comfort Why the World Series. It's been a blessing. Of course, Tim, for helping us launch the entire year with a fresh start. But further information and any information you want to find is on yfmghana.com. You can visit happyghana.com, etvghana.com as well. Any of these websites has all our information. Y1079 FM, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Go on there and find out all you need to find out. Please, if you're a company, you want to tag, uh, tag or jump on board any of the months, please feel free to join us. We'll give you up to 75% discount on all your products you want to advertise. God bless your comfort. Thank you so much. I was so real, real privilege to be here today. All right. and thanks to all your listeners mm. and all your viewers and those who watch on Facebook mm. Live for being with us. Your social media handles in case we want to get in touch with you. Well, my social media handle is Comfort Okran A. Okay. On Springboard, eh, sorry, on, on, face, on Facebook, on Twitter, as well as on, on um, Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, you found the one station that plays Ghana's best urban music. YFM.